so today I wanted to make a video talking about every little thing that we have done to the Raptor. It is not a massive build list, but I've never really talked about what we have done to the Raptor and I figured it'd be kind of interesting to let you guys know um, and kind of break down what every thing, every mod does of what every mod is. The first one I want to talk about is also the most noticeable whenever the truck is running. We went on ahead and did a Corsa Extreme on this truck. Now what a Corsa Extreme is, is an exhaust system from Corsa, obviously. This one gets rid of the resonator and it just replaces it with a pipe. And then the muffler is pretty much gone. It does have something that looks like a muffler on the truck, but really what it is, is more of a cruise resonator, I guess you could say. So whenever you're cruising, it keeps drone down, but whenever you're getting in throttle, it opens up the exhaust. <laughs> justice for how it sounds but as you guys can hear it sounds so good with this exhaust i wanted to make sure that i got more of like a muscle car sound or sports car sound and like a pure exhaust sound and less of the truck sound because truck engines there's nothing wrong with them and i'm not saying they don't sound good they can sound good if done right um but oh it just like popped a little bit every now and then it'll like pop on idle a little bit that's so cool but a truck engine is not made to be a high performance engine. The only standpoint of where it might be high performance is maybe towing or you know something like that. They're primarily made for daily driving and towing and just working, right? So which means that the engines are not made in a way, and by made I kind of mean tuned and how much fuel is going in, how the timing is, how the, how the what kind of camshaft is in there, um, that kind of stuff. Those kind of things make it to where it's more of a daily driver and towing, not less of racing and extreme performance applications. So, due to this, they don't sound the same as Mustangs or Corvettes. With the Raptor, the Raptor kind of has a little bit of both. Um, due to the fact that it is kind of an off-road truck, it has a lot of features inside the tuning that make it great for off-roading. Like, for example, the RPMs will actually stay lower down longer, um, which is kind of annoying whenever you're trying to get on it on the highway because you really have to commit to getting on it because the RPMs will try to stay down lower to make sure you don't get stuck more and dig yourself deeper or whatever. And it works great when you're off-roading. When, you th when you're off-roading, you really feel the tuning come out in this truck. With the Corsa system, it kind of brings out that performance aspect of the truck. It really brings out the whole, um, the muscle car sound aspect of it because it is tuned and built in a different way than normal trucks. So you can really make these Raptors sound super good with the right exhaust system. With the wrong exhaust system though, they sound really bad. You guys see what I mean? Just by that little bit, you can kind of tell it's not like a typical truck. If you do know the sound of like, it sounds a lot like a Mustang actually. If you do know the sound of Mustangs, they kind of have that low end like, I don't know how to even describe it. It's like very throaty. It's just not, it just does not sound like a truck. It sounds like a muscle car. So let's go ahead and get it warmed up and driven so I can really show you guys this exhaust. That's what I was talking about. I don't know how well you guys heard that, how well the camera picked it up, but it just like cracked into the whole entire neighborhood right there. That was so cool. So the last three mods on the Raptor are not as exciting as the exhaust. The exhaust is literally so much fun. The other ones are just kind of like things that you kind of need to do for these trucks. The air intake on the Raptors is extremely, extremely restrictive. Um, it is really not a good design. Muffling on the air intake is so substantial that it's like really, really bad. And so we ended up putting a cool air intake on it a while back from BBK and it was like chrome and blue so it didn't match anything. That one didn't really do anything. We didn't feel too much of a performance change and also the sound of the engine. I mean the sound changed a little bit but not that much. Um, and it ended up rusting so bad on the chrome part. And then it also, the filter ended up almost, it was like burnt in a way. It was really, really weird. So we scrapped that completely and we replaced it with the AFE air intake. Now, pretty much the best air intake for the Ford Raptors is the AFE. So we went on ahead and went with the AFE, which has a cleanable filter. It has like a, like a really thin powder coat on it that looks really good. It matches the entire engine bay. And the sound, it just sounds so much cooler. Um, you know, some trucks really react to a cool air intake in the sense of sound and it opens them up. And uh, this one, really reacted sound wise like it changed the whole sound of the vehicle i remember when we first drove it when we put it on 
we were like, holy crap, it's like we put an exhaust on this thing. The next mod is kind of hard to explain because for the upper control arms on the Ford Raptors, they actually have a few issues here and there. It causes the ride to be a little bit more rough every now and then, but sometimes never, like sometimes your truck won't ever have that issue. But then it also causes it to rub on weird points like fender liner or things like that. And that's what our, ours was doing. It was rubbing weird and we couldn't really find where it was rubbing because it wasn't rubbing in the same spot every time because of the upper control arms were like, I don't know, the dealer could explain it a lot better than I could because you would think that it wouldn't do anything, but it, it did. Yeah, they had a upgrade from the factory. So technically these upper control arms are a mod because they're different than the ones that came with the Raptors, but they're a different factory version, if that makes sense. To set makes sense to, you know, I'm gonna put it another way. It makes no sense. So they're kind of a mod, but they're from the factory. The only reason we went with these and did not go with a upgraded upper control arm from like any suspension company that would have been better than stock is because that was covered under warranty. And then the third mod that we have on here is actually a very important mod for these trucks. Like a lot of Mustangs have this, some Corvettes have this, a lot of, a lot of V8 cars have this, but Raptors especially need it. It is a JLT oil separator, the 3.0. A lot of little small particulates of oil are going through the engine and can hit the spark plug. They can cause them to get darker and look like you're running more rich fuel when you're not. Um, it can cause them to misfire and not act the way they should. Rough idling, just it, it causes a lot of little issues here and there. In order to prevent this, you can actually bypass a lot of the lines that those oil particulates run through and put a oil separator. Um, the oil separator over time, like six months, will collect like that much oil, nothing crazy. It really does help the spark plugs, so it is very good to do it. It's a longevity part. It does nothing for performance. It's all longevity. I made a whole video about it if you guys want to watch it. We really only have four modifications on this thing. The air intake, the oil separator, the exhaust, and the upper control arms, if you want to count that. What we want to do to this truck in the future is new shocks, because these shocks were the top of the line Fox shocks from 2012 but I don't know if you guys noticed, 2012 was eight years ago. So we would love to put some better modern shocks on here. Um, then also a leveling kit. I don't know why the Raptors have a factory rake, but they do, so they need to be like this, never like this. Yeah, we'd like to level it out, new shocks. And then there's a lot of things like this right here could use some color matching. Um, maybe blacked out or something like that, like kind of a subtle black. Uh, I can't stand, literally cannot stand orange on vehicles. See that black light? That's a recon light. That used to be where the white is, used to be chrome, and then that black used to be orange. And I couldn't stand it because it stood out and I, I had to do something about it. So the Raptor has that right there and then right there and they sell little like blackout kits for it that I think would look so much better. Another thing that needs to get done is across the truck, there's these little lights and these things are supposed to be just completely clear but over time they've become yellowy and dingy and they're really cool when they're on. They're like orange lights and they're all around the truck and I think it's one of the cooler things about Raptors, but they could just use a new plastic thing, maybe clear, or maybe, 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 or maybe just like a blacked out thing, maybe, I don't know. One thing that is definitely coming soon. Look at that, there's nothing there. Raptors don't come with anything there. There's no trim for this year Raptor to get anything right there. There's a ton of kits on the internet. Put fog light cubes there. You guys can see I have fog light cubes on my Ew. I have fog light cubes on my truck. Fog light cubes as fog lights are so awesome. On my truck, I only have two, you know, one on each side. I don't even use the brights anymore, ever. I never, ever, ever use the brights on my truck. I just always turn on my fog lights instead of my brights because they're so bright. So on the Raptor, we want to do two on each side because there's enough space for two and they sell a bracket that just bolts up and then you bolt them on and then you wire them to those auxiliary switches. You guys don't know what the auxiliary switches is. I said that like you did. So these are the auxiliary switches. You know, you can, usually there's a little light that comes on when you flip them, but the truck's not on. So yeah, there's like four wires inside the engine bay that you can wire things up to. It makes it really easy, really nice. So we're gonna wire the fog lights to the first one. And you can imagine double the lighting that Puff has. Puff is my F-250 for those who don't know. Double the lighting that Puff has. That will be insane. Super cool. I love this little control panel. The Raptor is such an already capable truck and already built so well that it's it's just hard to imagine what else you might want. I mean, you know, maybe a supercharger or something. So guys, with that being said, thanks for stopping on the channel. Go and subscribe, hit the notification bell, browse the rest of the videos, and uh, I'm gonna give you guys a few revs from some of the old videos on the Raptor before I completely, you know, say I'm out. But like, you know, I'm out.